Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, January the 26th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in and get set for some mild weather ahead and then stormy. We'll have all the details in a minute, but before we get to that, let me make sure that you are aware of the Storm Alert Tour for the ABC 3340 weather team for February. We'll be at places like Tuscaloosa, Jasper, Clanton, and Clay, the Birmingham area at Clay Chalkville High Auditorium. So all programs start at 6.30, so be sure to come on out. A little foggy in spots this morning. There's a look at the Mount Chiha Sky Cam from the Alpha Sky Cam Network. But uh, most of the area having clouds, even a few breaks in the clouds at Jasper. Not as much fog noted down there. All right, surface front is moving through the area. Expected to be across the southern portion of Alabama by noon today. And in the upper atmosphere, we're dealing with a little bit of a trough that is moving through the flow. But general uh, ridging will be coming our way for a few days before we have a change in the weather pattern at midweek. Temperatures not too bad across the country, still pretty chilly from Iowa up into uh, Minnesota and uh, Wisconsin and over into uh, the Dakotas, also in New England, uh, pretty chilly in those spots. We're uh, not too bad this morning. Uh, wind has come around to the north from the Birmingham area northward and uh, as the front is moving through southern Alabama and temperatures dropped into the 30s across the Tennessee River Valley this morning, I do expect us to get into the 50s for today. QPF-wise, uh, we're not going to have any more rain today or Sunday or Monday or Tuesday, at least for much of the day on Tuesday, though we may see some rain entering the picture late Tuesday, but it looks like primarily on Wednesday, though there are some still model differences. And the Storm Prediction Center is out looking for day four and day five. Day five is Wednesday. Uh, and that is the big day for us right now. At least it appears to be that way. The day for uh, strong to severe thunderstorms. And it does look like right now it would be a squall line type environment. We'll talk about that and some of the details in a minute. All right, the 060 GFS model run. And there's a look at the upper air pattern for 18Z on Sunday. That's tomorrow at midday. And you can see the ridge in place across the area. And of course, with that ridge, dry weather and a surface high to deal with. The ridge more or less stays in place on Monday and on Tuesday. But by Tuesday, you notice that we're beginning to see that deep trough come out of the uh, southern Rockies. And as it does, it's going to be developing a surface low pressure system over the central plain states. Of course, that's going to tighten up the gradient on Tuesday, meaning a wind windy type day and also very strong southerly winds. So that's going to be increasing our moisture by Wednesday, that trough comes by through the mid-Mississippi River Valley. And, of course, that certainly paves the way then for the front to move into our area during the day on Wednesday. Primarily, it looks like, by the GFS, the early morning hours. Now, the European is just a little bit different on that. And you can see that the European is just a little bit slower in moving the front through. But going back to the GFS, uh, a couple of things to note. First of all, that uh, the dew points certainly climb. Uh, the yellow value is coming up into the 60s. So it looks like uh, good moisture return is, as well as good warmth ahead of uh, the frontal system as it approaches. And also uh, CAPE values, according to the GFS, um, getting up into the uh, 200 to 500 range across the southeastern U.S. So certainly it looks like there is some potential. The front comes on through on Wednesday, and by Thursday, uh, the trough is well up into uh, the southeastern Canadian provinces. We're coming under more or less a trough over the eastern half of the country, but the trough not especially deep. So what that means for us is, of course, just uh, high settles in over the area, but we're not getting just extremely cold air. kind of drops our temperatures back to around or slightly below typical values for this time of the year. The Trough more or less moves by on Friday, and then on Saturday we're beginning to coming under the ridge once again. So it looks like uh, the mild weather um, and the lack of any extremes continue with us. Going out into voodoo country, it looks like we see another system around the um, 
uh, 7th of February. Uh, this is uh, late in the day on the 7th, around uh, midnight on the 7th. And then we see uh, more or less uh, dropping back to a pattern that is one we've certainly seen a lot of uh, this winter, and that is a trough, a fairly strong trough in the western U.S. and a ridge over uh, the eastern half of the country. So it looks like, uh, at least right now, no indications of anything really severe or uh, extremely cold coming our way in the foreseeable future. Well, thanks for tuning into the Weather Extreme video. I certainly appreciate uh, you doing that. Reminder again about the Storm Alert Tour, and I hope that uh, you'll have a chance to come out and meet the ABC 3340 weather crew. In the meantime, I expect to have the next one posted tomorrow morning first thing, and so I uh, hope that you have a great Saturday and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.